our 100,000 square foot factory in Bend, Oregon. It's a fantastic facility purpose built for building this plane. Our airplane starts out as a roll of fabric, just like they did in the old days, but this is carbon fiber fabric impregnated with resin. We roll it out on our CNC cutting machine. There's 587 parts that we make right here in the building that make up the Epic E1000. Each one is hand laid up and put into the oven, cooked at 270 degrees from three to nine hours, and then pulled out and demolded. Between every phase, we inspect the parts. So we visually inspect them. If they're thick enough, we do a non-destructive ultrasonic testing. Then we take that raw part and we bring it into our trim and drill shop to become the actual finished part that will be bonded into the airplane. Those parts are then inspected again, checked to make sure they're dimensionally correct. Brought out into the bonding area where the airplane is glued together. There's 20 basic bonded structures that make up the plane. The fuselage is one big bonded structure and it's put together just like an old Revel model left side, right side glued together. We inspect them again and send them to paint. Unlike a metal airplane, we paint the parts before we assemble them. It's just easier for us. After paint, the parts are brought out to final assembly. The wing is mated, the horizontal's installed, landing gear's put on, the engine. We try to build as much as we can off the assembly line. For instance, our whole instrument panel with all of the flight controls is assembled and tested off the airplane. We move that and put it in the airplane as a finished assembly to speed up the process and allow us to ramp up that production. Finally, we put the interior in with all of its soundproofing. to get that new plane smell. And then it goes off to flight test where we make sure that everything works and it flies according to the way it's supposed to. Once we complete flight test, it rolls down to our delivery showroom where an eager customer awaits his epic experience.